Good evening, Final Fantasy fans. This is the Final Fantasy uh, Randomizer turn Co-op Tournament for summer of 2022. The Explorers of the Yanakurm Desert. I said that right. This is MG Weirdo back in the booth, but, you know, doing a little of this and all of that. I know it's been a while, but we have uh, a race tonight between the Compet Center for Competitive Dengstrats and Team Oof. Joining me here is Shadow and Shadow. Uh, what should we be seeing tonight? I, I've been out for a while, so tell me, you know, about this co-op race. Oh, about well, it's going to be interesting considering uh, there's five loose items out in the world that our runners are going to be looking for. You know, we you know we have main. NPCs and fetch quest NPCs, and the only incentive locations are Ice Cave and Ordeals. Uh, entrance Floor Shuffle is on, so... Oh, that that's gonna be and, fun. And Towns are all mixed in with that. So, who signed up to track this again? Uh, I, 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 I do not envy that poor so Oh. Right. Um, they've got a free bridge, it looks like. So, yep. free bridge, free tail. Oh, free tail! I will get that marked for us. Yeah. So, yeah. So promotions are on the board. Um, I saw just a little bit of the um, class changes. So nothing too amazingly different, but I do see a bunch of uh, looks like red mages on the screen. So. Red Mage was one of the ones I did not catch. Um, fighter is just like some plus some vitality. You know, it was just like a, a flat bonus to stats. Um, so uh, I'll be interested to see, you know, if those make a big deal, make a big difference. Yeah. So uh, what sort of like percentages are we doing running for the bosses? How, how tough is this oh. seed or is it? Are we going to fly through this, or are we going to hit some walls? Well, so boss stats are between 120 and 250%, with HP being separately scaled uh, with 150 to 300% for the HP on the bosses. So we can get some pretty chonky bosses. Okay, and we have to go through all four of them? Uh, once we get the Topher, yes. Okay, so if Ish. we don't have to go through all four before Topher, then that means that we are on a shard hunt. Yep. So so that looked like, um, oh, Astos' castle it, at Corneria Castle, and it looks like our runners are off. Heal three at level one, that's not bad for light mage, magic, but... Sweepers, Lightning 2, and Fire 2, Quad X, n you know, not great, but it'll not get you a couple levels. Yeah, yeah it's, we at least have Sweepers. Could be worse. Oh yes, it, it, it could be much worse. Oh, we're running Triple Red Mage on the team for, or Center for Competitive Dengstrats, and Team Oof. Looks like a mixed party. Red Mage, Thief, and Black Mage? Yep. Yep. Thief, Red, Black, on... Um, yep. Oh, is it me, or is that gear, um, inexpensive? Oh, yes. The gold scaling is... prices is between 10 and 40 percent. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that's new. I, I hadn't really seen that we played with yeah. before in tournaments. So yeah, like an iron shield plus five for like ten gold, it's like that that's like two imps. Yeah. But the cat claw for sixteen K. Cat claw plus five? Wow, every is everything rolling up or are they just like limited on what they can roll? Um there is a limit. It is between let's see here, I'm scrolling down to it. Yeah, what weapons and ours are blue course between plus two and plus five so we're not even gonna have to deal with negative weapons and a fun thing which i find funny 
is that the elemental damage bonus is set to 42, but the Excalibur's been removed from the game. Oh, we have a Fleur and Canarius shop. Huh. Yeah, so that that's an early item, or sh early shop item, and... We'll have to see, see where they find the canoe. Yeah, and it, it looks like Topher is at Topher. I don't know if that's a, a flag you can do, just not shuffle that entrance. No, th th that, that's just some luckiness right there. Okay, so Toneria Castle was the, um... Northwest. Was it... Yeah, it was Northwest Castle. And then it looks like we found some of a sea shrine floor. And the Sahag packs are pretty scary, but Lightning 2 is taking them out. That'll be a lot of levels really quick, so... Yep. Eight uh, up to already, like, level 7 and 8 after, what, what like, one fight? Yeah, looks like it. Chadbert finding a big money chest up in um, Temple of Fiends. That would be nice for some, you know, early purchasing of the floater. And then crosses out Garland. But of course, we need to find where Canaria Castle is to get anything from the Royals. Right, but that's still one of those, like, okay, you've got the money, you can get going, um... Spells are, are going to come in, you know, you can buy that floater. Um, I mean, we still got to get to where we can turn it in, but, you know, we're, we're starting to get some pieces for a whole lot of exploration. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Rich in, in the, the chat mentioning, yes, nuns gain EXP, so if we're going to want to start, you know, power leveling characters, we're going to have to find a character gained by a fiend, which it looks like Caleb has found, Carrie floor. Also, dungeons can be flipped, which is annoying. Okay, when they flip, is it just like east-west, I yeah, guess? It's, yeah, it's, because it's, all the doors like, are north-south, so they can't really flip that way. Yeah, it's horizontally. Oh, and even worse, Caleb is checking all of the the chests you normally don't check on the carry floor because you haven't gone through all the other levels of the volcano to get there. So, uh, did something just cast nuke at him? I saw his party just go down. Uh, what are noble things are there? Uh, harm on the white mage does damage. Which, well, we have no white mages yet, so I guess it's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> and then, you know, extent, open progression, open progression, Norn docks, and Bahamut has a dock at Cardia. Yeah, so it looks like item magic is shuffled. We got a fog two stick, but we got a, a saber. Th um, so. Fog is okay, that's some armor, but Saber, I mean, that that's your power gauntlet, so you have the power gauntlet equivalent, so that that's just a big power up, especially if it's when it's not guaranteed, so you, you know you're going to be able to, to get through the bosses if you can survive them long enough. Yeah. And I think we're mostly exploring the same dungeon, so that... I think this is Matoya's entrance, and then uh, we've got Dengwu in the bottom left heading over to Dwarf Cave, and we'll see what's down there. Yeah. Ooh, that looks. If if I remember how the sprites turn up on uh, with the Valkyrie lights, I believe that is a fighter sitting behind Carrie. And Chadbert found a ruby on uh, Sky Four. Loose Ruby, and I mean, yeah, Titan's, Loose Ruby. Titan's Trove could be required to uh, pass through to get places. Yeah, I mean, I that's 
one of my favorite things in Entrance Floor Shuffle is when Titan's Cave is actually like useful Neither. instead of just being, you know, that, that thing that you usually skip unless you really need that the loose item. Yeah. And you just wait for Floater to get around Sarda. Yeah, it looks like... Where is... Oh! Uh, right. Uh, fortunately, it's co-op. Otherwise, Chadbert would have lost that ruby and have to go back for it. He he dug it out and died to the Chimera yeah. in a box. Yep. <laughs> yep. Kale found C-Split, and it looks like one of the entrances to uh, 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 exits of it leads down to Ice Cave. Well, to the Ice Loop, I guess. So we might yeah, and... Dengwu, I guess, so Sky 4 leads to the, that must be the dwarf cave that he and Chadbert are in, and then um, that leads down to the dwarf cave, so dwarf cave is just slightly disconnected from its original location. Yeah. The set, Dengwu does pull out the ruby from that side. Wasn't a, you know, a terribly buried in there. And now time to move on down and, and see what's in the next level. Well, so we'll follow Chadbert for a little bit. Well, maybe not quite yet. Invis 2. So we have Fog 2, Invis 2, and um, Saber. So Some very defensive casting items. Yeah, just just a straightforward, um, you know, solid set of equipment. You know, the Invis two and the Saber, very much. And then there's Lit two, so very very close to vanilla uh, magic. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna see anything too crazy come out of the magic. Yeah, we get some credits from Chadburn. I think I've seen those once or twice here, though. Yeah, probably crossing the bridge. Yeah, so it's... Looks like Caleb and Hate are... Hate 13 are going after the same dungeon. Although the eggs died, so not so much anymore. Oh, this must be the Provoca entrance. That's where they're at. Or that's where Caleb is now. Oh, is it Provoca? Yeah, Co Provoca is this marsh... Uh, and so th this is entrance floor shuffle. You got to make it hard for co-op, but yeah, this is tough to keep up with. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> we make it tough for the runners, but it doesn't help us in the booth that much either. Yep, and I am very grateful to our... Um, Friend, our admin, our tracker supreme, Danny Boss, who is um, just helping out for a few minutes behind the scenes before she has to run off to her other job. So, mm. uh, I always appreciate the help, and yeah. some people just are incapable of not helping. It'll be interesting to see what we get end up getting out of Ice Cave. That's right. You did say that this Ice Cave was one of the incentive, one of the two incentive locations. Yeah. I'm also trying to see. I think they might be in on a sky floor, so that eye is just a random. Yeah, that's just a random encounter eye. Um. I don't know what the meta has shifted to, but that's always one of those. Um, are you going to grind characters, or are you just going to take the XP as it comes? Mm. Uh, I mean, with how the flags is set up, there's only a chance that we'll see black belts. They're, they're few and far between. All right. Well, grinds are not just for black belts. I'll, True. Though, though, black you know, black belts benefit from it the most. But sometimes just getting that, you know, yeah. you know, fifteen or twenty levels just allows you to.
plow through the rest of the seed faster. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Something I, I've learned over the years from Lord Fizzlebeef. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and Rich Rich, yeah, with the save on game over, yeah, even if you go down to one party member, you can still just keep exploring and not have to worry about losing anything. And we have a canal out of ice cave well that that canal would be really helpful if you know we didn't have to like play this whole other game called raft just to build enough space to like get out of the get through the canal mm -hmm. let alone <laughs> yeah yeah so I mean, we're really we're looking for a canoe. We're looking for a ship. One one or the other has got to open up some stuff. But we still do have some dungeons to explore. And there's our robot having the crown. Yep. So that is going to end that branch of this dungeon. This is a pretty deep dungeon, I think. Decently, yeah. All right. And it, again, we have Chad Burton, Dengwoo diving the same dungeon, and I think Caleb and Hate are going to be in um, similar spots. Yeah. But with that crown, you know what we just opened up? Yep. North, uh, the check of Astos at Northwest. Yep, so... Would you like to do a fetch quest? Yes, would we like to do a fetch quest? All right, and Caleb finding some Agama, and the Agama are uh, not agreeing with them. They they are uh, doing some damage with these low-level characters. Um, he's got a fair amount of hit hits uh, hit points. He just uh, doesn't have the armor to take the hits right now. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, all right. So, Chadbert, you know, fi facing off the spiders, we're seeing a lot of encounters, so lots of fighting to, you know, give our parties a chance to use the, those low-level spells. Um, team Hate, I just keep seeing it, you know, anytime Hate um, levels up, I just manage to catch it, so levels 12 and 13 now. Fun, 13, 14 minutes in, that's... <laughs> Yeah, EXP is, I think, at four times? And then doubled at 12 key items? Yes, it is four times. And at four key items? Well, we're not quite there yet. No? No, we, we may w well be there, because... Well, um, no, not if, yet. I don't know if tail counts, if it's already given to you. But otherwise, we would have it. Um, uh, it's at 12 key items. Oh, 12. I don't know why I was thinking 4 key items. So, it, it's been a while since I've uh, broadcast it's on Twitch, and I forgot the cardinal rule of uh, commentary. No math on Twitch. Or no math on comms, one or the other. And the items we do start with do count. So, yep, Dengwu finds the Marsh Cave, which has got a couple of floors to it, and I think Chadbert's in that same dungeon again. So again, we had uh, one team member go left, one team member go right, and they're staying pretty close to each other. Um, we'll have to try to compare where Caleb and Hate are just a minute, and Dengwu is just slightly behind Chadbert right now. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see when one of them decides to uh, go uh, turn in the crown. Yeah, I mean, that that's always... I mean, that, so there's two big things I tend to look for in these races, right? It's always 
which chains do you of items do you follow which like exploration direction do you go and then then you also have the other differentiator of just pure combat so it's how quickly do you level up how quickly do you get you know stronger sweepers would make a difference right and, and how quickly you know can you get through that part of the game yeah uh of all these entrances, they're all kind of just getting mixed together in my head. <laughs> I just saw on chat screen the uh, marsh split of top and bottom. Yeah, so Chadbert and Dengwu are both in actual marsh, right, marsh cave entrance, and are diving down. Um, and then... Caleb and Hate are in, I believe it's still Provoca, um, and trying to clear out because I think this was also the C split. So there's definitely a couple of deep dungeons to start off with. And looks like Chatter has just found a loose cube. This cube in a Cardia treasure room at the bottom of this side of his split. So. Taking the, the Sky 2, um, also the Spider Floor sometimes called, and a lot of people will go down one side and then just pop to see what the next floor is before coming back. Even if it's like not floor shuffled, they'll go on to the next floor, look for the item, and then come back if they need to. So kind of carrying that over and, and you know, digging out his cube a little bit earlier for it. Yep. And looks like Caleb and Hate are just rooms apart. All right, on the same floor, same you know, same side, and just you know, slightly different positions. Caleb just hit level 20 on his characters. Chadbert's around level 15, so that may be a difference. Caleb might be a little bit higher level. Um, so we'll have to wait and check on Dengwu who is down to two characters. He only has two ales. Hmm. Now the question is, will that, is that intentional or is it just happened? Yeah, I mean, we'll have to wait for him to get out of the dungeon to, to check. Yeah. We haven't seen it, like, any, or pounds. Okay. So Caleb finds Earth 3 and the Rod Lock, so we're going to get a couple of chests out of here, but but that's going to be it. Well, that's of course to find the loose rod down here. And Chadbert found the Cube Lock and has gone through it to find one of the sea floors. That must be an empty sea floor if he's not going to go any further. Maybe. Uh, I, I don't know why you would just not um, clear out a dungeon branch if yeah. you're down there. So that, that might have been like the empty floor. Or it might have been the Kraken floor. He's just not up to fighting Kraken yet. Probably that, not worth the shards at this point. That's understandable. And Caleb trying very hard not to get copered by the Deng Bats. Uh, that's always something that I was very happy when they they got that fixed and so we could start keeping that on where you can um, get rid of the bats and, you know, NPC guillotine and just kill the bats that are in front of you. Yeah. Because there's a couple of earth floors that are just horrendous with them. Yeah, and I think what's funny is there used to be that room that just had like what, like seven bats in it. Oh, the the bat party room. Yeah. Yeah, they've they've kind of let them loose out into the void areas now. Yeah. Well, and Caleb picks up the first of our end game swords, the the Wot sword, the Sun Sword plus five. So that is definitely in the hands of a red wizard. That is definitely something that they can use and. Um, and take on endgame bosses with it. You know, it's not yep. the ideal weapon, but it is 
I mean, it rolled all the way up, and it is certainly capable. And look, just looks like he's going to make his way back out of the dungeon. Chadbert having some trouble with this Great Naga, or Grey Naga, Gur Naga. It's something. L limited character space of <laughs> old games. <laughs> Hate's just staring <laughs> at the... <laughs> I, I feel like Hate doesn't want to be on... <laughs> Yeah, the, the wolves, you know, werewolves, they're wolves, just, they're not worth a huge amount of XP, especially compared to how tough they are to, to defeat, so mm -hmm. I, I completely understand wanting to skip that. Plus those large enemy packs sometimes are just, because there's so many turns, they're just really slow to get through. Mm -hmm. As well as, yeah. Finding, yeah, finding Earth 3 is never fun without already having a rod. Especially when it's that deep, because you know when you get the rod, you're going to have to go all the way back down. Yep. Okay, so I guess Caleb ran into a dead end over on that side, but did not stop and check Northwest Castle on his way past Corneria. So... And I guess he's going to skip Marsh and go to Elfland, I bet. And I think that might be our first look at Elfland. Yeah, our Elfland locations. Yeah, the Elfland Village and Elfland Castle entrance. And here is our second town. We found Crescent. And a lot of stuff relatively inexpensive, but we'll we'll have to take a look at magic when we get it. Pro ring plus five, sixty five hundred. That's not bad. Yeah. Certainly something I, you know, buy a few of, especially with one hundred and fourteen thousand gold. Yeah. We find make money. Your, it make your pockets a little lighter. Yeah. I didn't realize that the gold gain was quite that fast. Is go I can't remember, is gold gain separate from EXP? I guess, no, it's tied together. Huh. And here we go. Hate's gonna give me the check I wanted. If Caleb did it, I missed it. But here we go. Dead Astos, and what do we get? A canoe. That's gonna give us access to floater. So, I, I really hope that Caleb hasn't forgotten about it, because that's going to be a huge miss. That that might be our only method of progression. Um, yeah. uh, well, we'll see what the old men have. More fetch quests. <laughs> but not a fetch quest we can do right now. Yeah. I mean, have we checked both locations? The Elfland Castle is... No, that, yeah, that was just the castle. And yep, then here we get stroke. Titans, and we can go through and see what's on the other side. Yep. So Caleb obviously taking a minute to talk to his partner. Probably going to save... No, he's not going to go through Titans. Interesting. So let's see where he goes. He's headed back. I'm betting that Caleb is going back to um, Canaria, to Canaria Castle, to um, turn in that crown. I bet the ruby reminded him that he had the crown. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, on Dangwu's side, taking on Kraken One. In Viz Two, but not in time to save Ale. Um, with you know, eleven hits and just destroying him. Oh, there's hold. <laughs> G gives Ale dot dot, you know, a nice big hug with all of his tentacles, and that Invis 2 made a big difference. Only three hits on Ale. 
dark, right? You know, very scary. You know, means you need the lamp spell. <laughs> lamp, it, lamp is well. Lamp is the best spell in the game. Yeah, too bad this isn't a uh, dab tournament where uh, increased dark penalties turned on. Then lamp's really the best spell. <laughs> yeah, and Kraken, you know, hits hits a thunder, so actually wipes out. And finish it off Dengu's party. But his party had a fighting chance in that. And, you know, just a couple of gaps the wrong way. And, ooh, Team hey. Oof. Meanwhile, hates, uh, hates found Canaria Castle. Yeah, and at Ice Cave and picked up a baby grand. Yeah. Or, so or a loot. Yep. But it, 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 Chat, since Chatwood was the one that killed Garland and talked to Sarah, we still don't know what Sarah has. Right, and looks like Chadbert is finding his way through the Titan's Tunnel, although gonna check the troll first. Yeah. Oh, and uh, finds out that they don't really need to go all the way down there. Oh, they didn't find a ruby, they found a brownie. You can't feed a golem a brownie. Golems eat gems. And that is a key discovery. I assume we just found key. <laughs> yeah, he found key in the last chest of the uh, Titan's Trove. Alright. Uh, how many loose does that put us at now? So, Deng Wu, with the uh, veteran move there, leaving the Titan's Trove, saving, and then diving back down. So if there's nothing there, he can just reset and save some of the walk. Um, he might even do that, just get the key, make sure that it, that it goes to Caleb, and then, uh, and then reset out, just saving him some, a few steps. You know, one of those like little changes that just make, can make, add up and, you know, 15, 20 seconds, maybe even a couple of minutes if you get a couple of bad fights. And Caleb picks up the, the loot and is on his way and finds Provoka in Sarda's cave. And Danny mentioning that the prince had the adamant. I think we'll see here in a second on Chadwick's screen. Ooh, so, to nuke. That that is huge. I mean, well, Hate hardly... is going back to clear out, connect, you know, and their team Oof is clearing out the armories. But why do you need to clear out an armory if you got level two nuke? I mean, there could be shards up there. Uh, just just find some crystal and and nuke it and call those shards. <laughs> True. Also, Rich apparently saying we found a katana plus five somewhere. That's actually pretty big because I mean the remy just isn't quite as good as a thief is you know when you get to those higher levels so. That will benefit um, Team Oof in the end game, right? Having that katana, the high damage and high crits on the thief, they'll, they'll be able to do quite a bit to the uh, fiends revisited fights. Yep, and uh, we get the chime out of the princess. Man, the, these items are just dropping left and right. So, yeah. But, and I guess that, that's what we got for getting Floater. Mm hmm.
Yep, don't mind me playing on the buttons, but we're getting our slices out of, out of the armory. Um, and Caleb has clearly been to Ale Markin's School of Airship Driving. Which is where you, you crash into the mountains and everything other than just setting down by where you want to be. So, Titan's West is a volcano floor, so here's a dungeon to dive. And Dengwu following up by going to Provoka to get his spells. So, Chadbert only had about five shards, so... That's not a lot. Although, at least from my experience with doing cock, ooh, loose TNT in a volcano. Yeah, that's not in, safe. In, in the armory, although, yeah, I didn't catch what entrance that was. Neither did I. But Caleb in Titan's West, so d down past that first like lava floor from volcano, and is now on the bridge of destiny. So. That would be a good thing that I, I would love if if you have the ability to check that. But what are we doing with Warmech these days? Oh, Warmech's uh, kind of patrolling on Sky 4. Uh, on the Sky Maze? Man, that's a shame. I, I was hoping to, to meet our uh, Lord Robot Chicken a little, little bit earlier, but... Yeah, sadly not. We'll just grab a ribbon plus five for Chad Burt, and then uh, Caleb will take on Tiamat. With some fog stick and some nukes, and more nukes. Yep, I mean, we got three red she, nukes. She slows down the eggs, and the nukes are hitting for good damage, okay damage, pretty good damage, so... And it looks like Caleb's just gonna keep firing three more nukes. Tiamat fires back, but Fire 2 and Nuke are just not, you know... You gotta get to level 2, Tiamat. Level 2 magic. Yep. <laughs> yeah. They're slow, she's fast, but, you know... Nuke does not care, and Caleb just keeps pouring them in. Tiamat is just take him, taking them all, you know, right to the face. Is Caleb going to have enough charges at this yeah. point? Because she's really resisting a lot of these. And oh. but there's my answer. Yes. Level like 24 on his eggs and through. So killed Tiamat and we have our first boss kill of the seed. Which will likely be followed in just a moment by the second one. Yeah, looks like, yeah, Chabber might have a, a, or not Chabber, Hate might have a bit more troll, because, you know, only one new caster, or two new casters compared to the three. Yeah, and so we'll see a different strategy. We, we saw um, the use of the Saber on the Thief, and this Katana, uh, still only two hits for 87 damage. You'd really need a little bit more, um, right. like a little bit more invis, a little bit more evade on that to help that thief get through, but that was a good hit. Well, here's the thing. We aren't swinging a katana yet. <laughs> we're, we're not promoted. Oh, good point. Good point. I actually don't know what sort he was swinging there. Yeah, that definitely was not the shape of a katana. But either way, um, Hate does make it through with the help of one powerful hit from that thief, so... And then in the meantime, Chadbert talked to the dwarves, turned in the adamant, and they gave a crystal, is now clearing out the rest of the dwarven armory, so... Humans, elves, and dwarves, you know, equal opportunity robber, just bust right in and clear out the inventory. Up. I mean, we're the Light Warriors. They weren't going to use it anyway. Chadbert. Ooh, Caleb. Chadbert, man. I, I, we we got to talk after this seed. What what's going on with the whole like ignoring your boy Hooray Dwarf? 
Who knows? Meanwhile, Caleb, Caleb seems to have found the HR office. <laughs> Applying for a promotion? And it looks like he got it. And I think Dengwu has found Matoya. And Chadbert finds, you know, that wretched hive of scum and villainy. Melmond. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Dengwu's found Matoya, but I don't think they've found the crystal yet. Yeah, I don't think so. I think, I mean, Chadbert just found it, but... He's on the other team, so that doesn't help Dengwu very much. No, it doesn't. But Dengwu does find a Maz immune by the looks of it in Matoya's cave. Oh, I mean, that that's worth the whole trip. Yeah. Yeah, for, for that few of steps, if you're not sure if you have it or not, yeah, just go ahead and, and talk to her and see. And if you didn't have it, no big deal. Yeah. And Maz is the one weapon that is excluded from the blur things at, uh, in, at all, so it's just neutral. But, you know, it's still Maza. Yeah, it's like, it, it doesn't need a whole lot of help. But, yeah, it looks like Caleb and Hate again, on the, the same floor. So, Hate will get a promotion here. There's nothing on the vorpal. <laughs> hmm... Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep my thoughts on Verbal to myself for this seed. Although this is a seed where, um, with what you're talking about, about the boss percentages, yeah. Verbal w would be a, a very useful weapon. It'd be a great find. Um, yeah. It is incentivized, I actually. It is one of the incentive items. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that gives you a, a guarantee of a chance to get through some of the, you know, if the boss rolls high health or, you know high um, armor, sometimes you need those crits. Yeah. But of course, we'll, we'll be using a Vorpal and a Red Mage. <laughs> but... Yeah, because I'm trying to think, because we've seen Carrie's room, and it looked like there's a fighter there, so we could grab ourselves a fighter to swing the Vorpal. Yeah, and we have we we're finding some great XP fights. We are leveling up quite well, you know. So Chadbert twenty one, twenty two, twenty four, um, you know, helping himself to some nachos on the Bridge of Destiny. Uh, Dengwu found um, the uh, EXP punching bag, the Gur Shark and Big Eye encounter, which is also one of the top um, XP encounters in the game. So just. You know, we're, we're finding some good fights, um, some good places, and, um, yeah. so we're getting our levels, we've got, you know, we've got Nuke, we've got, you know, a Saber Gaunt, or Saber item, we've got an Invis 2 item, so now I think we're kind of, in, and we've just about got all of our key items, or at least we're getting close to having all of our key items, so, yeah. And... Yep. There is a third ribbon. Caleb looking at it like... I forget if it's five or six, but I think Caleb's at like 13 shards or so. So maybe about halfway there. So, you know, still a ways to go. Yeah. The good thing, though, is that this exploration is going to get... You know, is... Has been picking up speed and is now just moving along very quickly. Um, just, they they can sweep through all these trash packs and just go, go, go. Yeah, and, but it seems a bit... We're probably very close to seeing all of our loose items at this point. We're here at four or five. Yeah, I mean, we still have the um, Fairy and Lafayne. Um, places to check. We and let's see what else. We we still have uh, one dwarf to talk to, I think. Yeah, so there's still probably a loose. Oh no, I just probably missed. Chadbert probably did the adamant turn in because it was the TNT turn in that turned into crystal, so. 
So they probably have one more item that I don't have marked. So, folks, if the tracker is a little bit off, I'm sorry. Just, you know. There's four screens. <laughs> it, it, it's four screens and it's co-op. And once they find that floater too, it's just item madness. Oh, oh, well, goodbye, Herador. Oh, okay, Chadbird, I, I take back everything I said about you. Thank you for not talking to Hooray Dwarf. If that's what hate's going to do to Hooray Dwarf, then then, then you not talking to him, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a pass. Yeah. And a comms apology. I, I'm, I'm clearly on Team Hooray Dwarf, which is one of the many silly... Um, Teams, FFR team, team, teams that we have in the FFR community, so... Yeah, because what, there's... Yeah, Team Killer, Hooray, Team s s Frienders, Food... Yep. Tyros... <laughs> where if yep. Vorpal's a good sword or not... Well, I, I think it's less whether Vorpal's a good sword, it's just, you know... Team, you know, there are people who think Vorpal is the best sword by a mile, and it really... It depends on what seeds you're playing and, and what sort of what flags you play with. So, yeah, you know, I, I've always preferred Masa, but I, I also don't play like 300 and 500 percent bosses. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did catch a glimpse of Chadbert's screen, and it looked like he was about in the same place in terms of slices or shards that Caleb is. So. 13, 14, something around there, so uh, about halfway through all of those. We still have, I don't think we've explored any of the um, Cardia Islands. We haven't, I mean, like the whole, whole northern half of the world, we haven't explored any of those entrances. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the whole north is still wide open. So, Dengwu getting his promotion while Caleb is sort of doing what Dengwu's already done, right? So, the some of the co-op, right, you don't have to go get the other item and the item save, but you still do need to go and pick up those shards. You still need to promote for yourself. You still need to pick up things like um, yeah. Mass Immune. So, anyway, yeah, Vorpal. Samai's equipment doesn't get passed through. Yeah, so, I mean, well, in non-incentivized equipment doesn't get passed through, but now you know which chest it's in, or which couple of chests it's in, so it's easy to do. Yeah. Alright. Chadbert, also promoting. Sorry to step on you there. That's okay. <laughs> That's some nice gear. We got an opal plus four, an ice plus armor plus five. So... A plus five shield as well. I saw in Chadbert's inventory, not equipped yeah. to the ninja. We got some pretty good gear. Uh, the thing is, with the nuns gained e with EXP, they've effectively been running four party members in terms of EXP this whole time. <laughs> well, I, I think you were telling me the, the XP bonus is pretty strong for this yeah. uh, set of flags. So it, it just it makes having a grind uh, that like I was asking about earlier, it, it's clear that these runners are just not going to sit and grind anywhere. They're just going to keep running through the game and I, I think that's probably a, a tournament designer's choice right we don't want to sit and watch it a grind we're just going to watch people just keep on exploring the seed and running through yep so looks like a kraken is not the only uh boss with a little bit of stun so carrie's Stuns the thief, but the nukes carry hate through, and we do have a second orblet for Team Oof. Yeah, I mean, it's, yep. Earth and Fire Orb provide two shards each, and Water and Air were four each. So there's a total of twelve shards that can be just gone from killing the uh, fiends. Yeah, and it, and if you're, you know, not wanting to explore too much, or you don't have a lot of like high density locations that you're gonna find, then very worthwhile. Oh, we did see Gaia. Um, so Chadbert was up here earlier, and this is where he found the TNT. I just ah. didn't know what entrance it was. 
<laughs> What's all this? <laughs> madness, Fizzle. Madness. What's all this then? Um, speed and power. Because we are not stopping to grind, we are just going. We found a level 2 nuke after a while. We'd been getting by on, on Lightning 2 and Fire 2s, and then found that nuke level 2, and we're in, you know, mid to upper 20s. I think Caleb's got a couple of characters at like 31, so... It's go, 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 get them shards. Yep, yeah. yeah, so those are right, he's just hit 32. And he's taking the fighter. Ooh, Dragon Armor plus 4. That's a very nice piece of kit for that fighter. Yeah, so I'm just looking through some of the items right now, and it's like, I don't think we have, we don't have the bottle, the rod, or the, well, Oxy Ale, although Chadbert might have one of those. We just... And, you know, there aren't that many, like you were saying, there's not really a lot of incentive locations to go to. I mean, there we could go past the rod lock, but that, that was kind of down at the bottom of a dungeon. I want to say maybe Marsh Cave. Maybe Provoca. So, yeah, yeah we've just got a lot of entrances, and we know where Kraken is. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, one of the teams or both of them go kill Kraken pretty quickly here. I want to say that was like Earth Cave, maybe? I think. There's too many entrances. Oh gosh. And now we're seeing Kale walk backwards. Uh, Caleb always walks backwards. What are you talking about? True. He, he is moonwalking across the universe. Oh, the sink. Ding. Woo and hi. Hey, we're in sync. Step for step for a while there. Mm. I, don't, man. I, I wonder who we blame for, break, for them break, breaking the sink, but... Either way, they they both, you know, cleared out what they need to, got their slices, and we get to see the Lafayne entrance, and we get to see the Mirage Tower entrance, since we both have chime. Yeah, well, it, it, at least we... Oh, hey, more mech. Oh. More mech. No, no, Dengwu, go, go back. And what is this order he's going in for? <laughs> and Any order he deal. wants. Our other uh, dungeon. Okay, old man in the cave had the fairy in a bottle. Interesting. Wait, hold on. I'm just reading what Fizzle just posted with that Warmack being a great the entrance. Does that mean Warmack respawns if you leave? I haven't really messed around too much with patrolling Warmack. I don't think patrolling war max stays. I think you just kill him and he's gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. But like you said, I, I haven't done too many patrolling. I'm, I'm more, I am much more of a always war mech, you know, guarding Tiamat kind of player. Yeah. Hot eight is doing the um, the hard part, which is trying to remember which. Which pillar lets you through, so... <laughs> ah, yes, the, the dread pillar maze. And the please don't let it be pillar 4 on this screen. Or on, on the one choice, because that's all the way around. I... Chadbert clearing out mermaids. I just... more chests, more chests, and flipped again, it looks like. Yeah. Chadbert on purpose looking for bubbles. <laughs> and check chests in the room. Okay, Dangwu finds ordeals and just nopes right out of it. Resets out and is back to the skies, so is not worried about that item or the like nine chests or so that are up here. Just I mean, yeah, if we don't need the oxy ale to get anywhere. 
for uh, enough shards to uh, get enough. Yeah. And yeah, we don't need to worry about it. Yeah, it's either Oxy Ale or Rod or Vorpal, I guess. You said that was incentivized? Yep. As well as the uh, Roost Stick. It's also an incentive of Ribbon, but I'm pretty sure we found that. Like... Yeah, we, we have. Uh, we have all three. All three ribbons. So, so. You, probably, you found a loose one somewhere. I didn't see one from an NPC. Yeah, not, not that I remember after all this, but... And Caleb finds Gaia, does decide to release the fairy, does not uh, keep her trapped the whole time. And, and that is one of those quality of life improvements that I hadn't seen in a while, or that I hadn't seen, where you can just cut straight through to the fairy pond and not have to go walk the whole loop around Gaia, which was just... Annoying. Yeah, it's one of those like annoying time sinks that you know, you play with for a while, you get used to, but then it's like, does this really add anything to our, our play or our enjoyment of the game? Probably not. Hey, well, we find Elfland at uh, Ordeals. Okay, and we found... Um, Bane, I think. And Caleb found uh, the Oxiel Town, the, the expensive spa. Mm-hmm. And the Oxiel came from the fairy. Yeah, so right next door. But the big thing about Elfland is Fade. I mean, you got two full levels of magic that you're going to have a lot of charges with. So that that's actually a much bigger find. Brack. <laughs> Where was that Brack earlier? Yeah, we haven't found Ship yet, which is kind of surprising. Not that we need it. Yeah, well, the sure. ship is clearly on one of the Cardia Islands, because where else would you find a ship? I, I don't know, I'm just trying to logic, even though that logic has nothing to do with randomizer. I mean, there has to be some logic so we can get everything. Mmm, sometimes. <laughs> no, that... The logic is actually really, really well done, where I haven't seen a seed that wasn't completable in a long time. It's always been like, um, usually like a, a super early release where like we just started a new flag and didn't realize all of its implications or, um, and that was like on the testing server that the devs do a great job of vetting everything. And that's, I mean, that was years ago that I saw that, so. Most of it's usually like, oh, wait, I can go into this entrance now. Yep. And here's our, our Tyro, so um, Nate is not part of, of Team Food. Although um, he is killing it. <laughs> well, it attacked him. It, it bit him, so. No, uh, self-defense measure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that, that's reasonable. Now, if one of these people could, like, pause for, like, more than, like, a fraction of a second so we can see how many shards they have. They're about done with row three and into row four, so they're... They're getting there. Yeah, they're definitely getting there, so I think Caleb had about a row and a half to go. And we found Lich. Or Speed Bump. What? what where? Who? Uh, not yet. We haven't followed me yet. We're walking there. We're, we're getting bats in the way, though. And Dengwu takes care of some deng bats in the marsh. And here we go. Caleb versus Lich. Fight. Nuke, nuke, nuke.
Nuke 1, 234, fighter hits for 400. Lich uses uh, Bazara, you know, which is a very vanilla spell for him, right? And then we get a nuke for 400, so about 1,000 HP on that Lich, but still just a uh, speed bump and a Black Mage, but, yep, yeah, picks up a Black Mage at the end there. Which I find kind of interesting, considering switching out a Mirror does clear out all the spells that they have. And Chadbert found Lefane and found the Rod. So, and that was in Waterfall. So, I think I understand it. If I saw the incentives right, um, Black Mage, I think, had plus one MP per level. So, that extra spell, especially with a level two nuke, I mean, so they're just... I think that's starting MP, so they already have a charge of each level. Hmm, okay. May yeah, I, I could be mistaken oh. there. I, I do not know the, the yeah, character what... changes very much. Yeah, was, yeah. Although, by the looks of it, though, uh, it, I don't know if Kale looked at Black Magic at level 6, but Fast was not in a Red Wizard learnable slot, so... Maybe picking yeah. it up for the Fast Cast? Well, and there are two of them them on the team so I don't know exactly what their strategy is for sharing notes and sharing you know ideas but they're certainly in voice comms with each other if one of them didn't notice it maybe the other did and that maybe. that's also a very good reason to pick up a black mage yeah it's one of the reasons why red mage is kind of my least favorite class next to black belt because it's just so limited at times Although that's also probably just my own bad luck when it comes to where the spells land. Yeah, I, I guess my least favorite part of the Red Mage is going into one store, buying the spells I think I want, and then going in the other store and going, oh, no, oh. you know, I really wanted that. Yeah. You, Li I, life 2 or Fade or something, and it's like, why I, did yeah. I buy all three spells? Or you buy Fade and White Magic and you find Nuke and Black, you're like... Well, you, usually it's because I bought, like, Quad X or something, and it's like, mm -hmm. I, I can live without that, but, you know, the other spell would just be superior for most part. I usually tend to, like... Since it's usually White Magic that the Red Mage is so limited on, I usually... I tend to check White first before anything. Just... Yeah. No, fair enough. We we all have our own idiosyncrasies, and yeah. I mean, it's you you know whatever shops first. But we are getting through this, so it looks like Chadbird is gonna go back to kill Kraken. I, I guess I should have actually marked that Caleb did go through the Lich, although I guess he went back for chess, no. and is just gonna take the teleporter out here. Ah. Uh. We have some lobsters that need glasses, but that are just gonna, we're just gonna throw the lobster in the microwave and call it good. And someone on Chadbert's team just hit level 27, so I think all of our character, all of our teams have characters that are certainly in the range where, you know, a Temple of Fiends dive is not. You know, uh, uh, right? It is, I wouldn't call it trivial, but it's yeah, just it's basically what what does what do the bosses have? What did they roll? Mm. Kind of stuff. So, but none of it's really um, anything, right? They're not levels where you really need to go any higher or put that off. It's once yeah. you have the slices and you go. But yeah. we are still, you know. A half dozen or so slices out, it looked like. Mm -hmm. Slices, shards, pieces. There, there's a lot of different More names. That... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot yeah. of names for it. It's random each time. Uh, yeah, it, for all I saw, so if, yeah, Kale's got some people in the 30s. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I've been looking at some of the other teams too and just catching what I can so that we know. Because it's. If, 
the rules have not changed. It's not just one person. Has to, it's both oh. players on that team have to finish. So mm -hmm. that that certainly changed our strategy. Also, also meanwhile, Dangwu just casually quaking Lich. This is fine. Dangwu doing Deng things. That That is... The reason it's a Deng strat is he was the first one in the community to really put together that um, Quake was all, or Cake was often available and Lich was vulnerable to that particular spell, has a low spell resistance, so it was often easier, um, especially if that you, when you had low XP and a very low level party to just cast that insta kill four or five times and and Lich would be dead, gone. Yeah. Oh. Falls in a giant pile of frosting. I think Ch it looks like Chabber might only be two shards short. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Chadbert did just kill Kraken, so I need to mark that. Picks up the chime. Yeah, it'll be interesting Which... to see because it looks like. By the looks of it, on at least Caleb's side, we're going to be swinging that Maz on the fighter. Whereas both yeah. Chadver and Hate have Katans plus five, so we'll have to see. If these fiends roll very absorb heavy, there might be an advantage to uh, Team Oof. Yeah, so looking at both Chadbert and Hate, they're both about in the same spot where they're missing like maybe four shards or so. Um, yeah. And we and we know it, where Toph is. Yeah, then yeah. Temple of Fiends nice is thing. at Temple of Fiends. So That's so convenient. Is this even randomized? I know, right? Gosh, I swear in some practices Toph would end up in some weird yeah. spots. <laughs> and so no, Chad Burton he still needs a full row plus a, a, that three, I think. So that's nice. that's nine. So still quite a bit of exploration to go. Looks like Caleb's gonna go take care of Kraken, and that would put his team at a full, um, all four shards. Or, sorry, all four orbs, I mean. Yep. Dengwu is taking on Carrie, so, so really, I mean, we don't have to kill the fiends, but... They help. They're not, they're not challenging to us at, at this level and with these spells, and the, the shards help. So Dengwu needing about 10 uh, shards uh, does pick up the fighter and the black mage. So Caleb and Dengwu both really going for the same sets of strats and um, right fighter, two reds, and a black. So I guess it, for them, it's probably a communications thing and just allows them to be exactly on the same page and look for the same equipment. So there's just that much less that they have to think about. Yeah. And yeah, just every time they open inventory, that I'm just zeroed in on their shard count. So just trying to figure out how many shards they have, how many that they're missing, and I mean we're in floaters, we're flying all over the place, we're we're going back and forth, just trying to pick up all these last slices so we. We can dive, dive, dive. Yep. Ah, so Caleb's gonna find the crystal down here. And we get to finally see what was on Adamant. That's the ship. <laughs> well. <laughs> so I'm going to assume Chadbert got that earlier and just never picked it up. Um, because if you've got a floater and a canoe, why would you pick up a ship? Yeah. 
there's no reason to. Yeah, it looked like hate was is only two shards off, so we might see a dive on part of Team Oof before we see one from the uh, Center for Competitive Deng Strats. Yeah. Which, well, it's nice to you know have you know one member done, but you need to be both done before both your opponents are also done. Yeah, well, this is also something. I mean, going back to when I first entered the community, watching Shadow Walker um, go through seeds. Just, I mean, the settings were different, but he would dive Temple of Fiends at like level eighteen or nineteen. You know, sometimes even like level seventeen. <laughs> and it was before we we you know he was doing it before anyone else. Really, this idea of a an information dive. It's if I get levels and I make it through, awesome. But even if all I do is figure out how hard this particular boss is, so we know like how many resources to, to save and what the dangerous parts are, so you know if you're worried about spells or you're worried about melee attacks, and just like having that idea of how to get through, you can prepare for it and, and be ready to go through. So here we go. Hate from Team Oof is... Oh, we're clearing out a couple more uh, chests. The lock, locked side, it's flipped. Um, it's not an easy tell. The tell for telling if Toaf, like the top floor of Toaf here is flipped, is by walking into Garland's room. Oh, for me, for me, it's whether the doors are locked. Well, yeah, that's how I usually figure it out, too, because he had them going. <laughs> you know, left side usually first, anyways. No, it, is it actually locked? Because there was no trap tiles. Uh, trap tiles are not a thing in this flag set. Ah, that that would be why. Yeah, the trap tiles. Spike tiles, there. sorry, whichever you want to call them. But. Yeah. yeah, the only no. forced encounters we're having to fight through are uh, what guard the shards. All the shard chests are trapped. <laughs> Okay, I didn't realize that. So you can just go through and and there we have it. That that's the right number. Hate is gonna warp out and save. No, nope. restock. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, looks like Kale has to go for Garland first. Well, we're we're going to Melmond. Oh, life too. Okay, that that's worth picking up. That makes sense. Yeah, we're going out and saving. And Caleb has a, his slices, so Caleb has put together the entire pizza and will be able to dive just before Hate. But Hate did run back and grab life too, which is certainly you know one of those spells that can make a massive, massive difference in whether a run succeeds or not. So. Mm-hmm. But we I do mean, have Long Topher, so... Yep, build a Long Topher. I, I mean, Kraken 2 exists, though. K Kraken 2 just seems to know who has life. Oh, I mean, the Temple of Fiends Revisited is the Great Equalizer. They, they are more than close enough that this is a com very, very competitive game. Um, yep. I think Dengwu might be a few shards behind, but we'll have to get a, a look at his shard I count. Um, but th that's the only real big advantage for one team that I can see. I think last one I saw, he was missing six. <laughs> Four on the current okay. row and two more. And I think Chadbert's only missing two. Yeah, and then... And Caleb also checking one of the bonus chests, so in the Phantom's room. So, well... We'll see if he decides to check one of the carry two floor chests for the memes or not. And we we find some Germaduces on the earth floor, we get away from them, and then we will be at our first fiend refight. Which I mean, if Lich rolls six hundred er, rolls three hundred percent you know on the HP, he's not gonna go down one turn. Yep, re respect Lich, or just respect Lich. So 700, about a thousand damage, just like Lich won, and we are through. So the speed bump is bumpy. 
Yeah, I think what's funny because you know you haven't been here for a while in with the fun percent flags with funny uh, fun enemy names. Lich has been renamed to S bump. Uh, that that is wonderful. That just keeping the traditions alive. And Caleb is going for those bonus chests, the carry two chests. We'll we'll see how many he picks up here. But yeah, yeah how many will he pick up? Because there's four chests on this floor. One. It looks like just one. And I don't think we're going to go see him go get the Maza chest. Yeah, I, well, it's always amazing if you go down there and you find a pure, because pure moon is just, just fun. But Meanwhile, yeah, it's just too far. Hate tried to uh, zap Lich. <laughs> Yeah, we got carry two on uh, Kale's side. Looks like we've got some, you know, swing a nuke, another nuke, swing from carry. Fast, obviously, going out after the fire swings. Yeah, but we're only taking 200 damage from on seven hits from carry, so lots of hits, but not a lot of damage. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be really happy with that fight so far. Yeah, big hit, though, for like three something, but uh, the carry's just not outputting it fast enough. Yeah, so Caleb, we, you did mention that uh, the Black Mage was the only one that was going to be able to learn fast, so Caleb certainly taking advantage of that, went back and used fast, good effect in that fight. So, only spell he has at that level, only spell he wants. So, you gotta have fast for the speed, and, and we got a... Um, and, and we have a Saber... Um, for the power, so we just Caleb keeps powering through. And and yeah, Rich, you are absolutely correct. Caleb has time because his time through is not going to limit the team, at least as far as we know. I don't want to put anything on them. No, no, no calm curses. No calm curses. Being oh, Caleb taking on <laughs> Kraken two, Kraken being evasive. Yeah, one hit for 157. The nukes are being resisted too. So the 150s, anything under uh, 200 is clearly is a resisted nuke. Like resisted, like prevents a damage doubler. Yep. Uh... And, and uh, Kraken finds egg in the back row and just oh breaks the egg. <laughs> finds oops. <laughs> as well yeah o oops is broken the eggs are broken we got to get first we got nukes. oh oh wow that kraken is not not the thickest kraken just the strongest kraken so yep hadn't hadn't been eaten that much but certainly you know, been working out and that life too brings his brings Kayla's party back, so... Yep. And we, we get our first look at Tiamat, too. Yep. Oh, we're, that one egg so nukes. Yeah, we kind of had to go through, through some nuke charges to get through that crack at the end. Oh, man. If, if we're, we're oh, down to casting lit, too. Oh, well... Oh, yeah, the, the lo so. lock axe is nice, so... Yeah, I didn't see, like, lock anywhere. Well, it, it... I mean, it, it was in, I think, so it's level 2, so it competes with your nukes, but having that on the axe, if you give that to the egg with no nuke charges, that gives them something to do in that chaos fight. Yep. Uh, throwing trying. out the... Yeah, throwing out the cake, going for the deng strats, you know. Sweet. It might be... 1 and 256, but, you know, hey, you gotta try it. Or 3 and 256, rather. Yeah. Yeah, Kraken team at both being very dodgy. Oh, and it, that, that looked like single digits damage. Ooh, nuclear. I think I just saw single digit damage come up from the Maza. That's, uh... Mm. 
Yeah, yeah Caleb, where, where's that saber? But yeah. four hits for 324, That that's a chunk. We, we are slowly chunking through. We're getting our cure threes out just to keep the health up. You know, Chadwick's making his way through. Yeah. Uh, or hates me. Chadwick's making his way through carry. Ch uh, uh, hates on Kraken. Okay, so probably Team Oof in a slightly better position, but then Quad X takes out Tiamat. So Caleb is through, is going to be able to get his party up, and then um, is doing the smart thing, the veteran move here, healing back up, getting everything situated before he takes a single step off this tile. Yep. And hates through Kraken. Dangwu's in Topher. Yeah, Dangwu Deng headed down on the Phantom floor, so a little behind, but... What? What? Okay, I, I don't understand the the incentive, or the bonus check from Dangwu, but yeah. we'll, we'll go with it as Caleb is the first of our four runners here to pull Chaos. The ultimate fiend, although I, feel, I think he's out of nukes, so we'll have to see what Chaos does. Damage poison. Well... Usually by the time you get to Chaos, you're not depending on nukes to be able to get through. So you're looking at what he's doing. You're looking at the the fast cast. You're looking at the fog to bring saber. up the armor, the absorb, the saber. You know, so you're, you're just buffing your fighter. And this is where your melee damage is going to pull you through. Yeah. Right. We're getting locks out, you know, reducing that, that evasion from Chaos. Um, but, but yeah, but nuclear and nuclear hitting big, so that that certainly hurts. Although, the one egg that's down is the black mage, so fast is already out. So, Ooh, ten done his hits. job. <laughs> ten hits for seven thirty-one. Chaos responds with a swirl, not quite nuclear, but still you know a strong Very ability. Dead. Another and nuclear. a second nuclear. So we've seen three nuclears. The white or the red mage is trying to keep Oops and their party alive, while Oops just keeps hammering away at chaos. Bomb eggs, bomb red mage egg is out. Of your threes. Ten hits, another five hundred damage. Poison. So we're about fifteen hundred damage or so on chaos right now. We're going with the fogs, but chaos ain't, isn't punching you hard. I guess there he punches egg. It's these abilities that are really, Messing you know, and. Up. Yeah, and, and the ability that goes straight through everything. And we just passed vanilla threshold HP. There's another. I think we've looped. Yeah, I, I think that's a four ability loop. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's damage poison, nuclear swirl. Yeah, that's what uh, Axel is saying in the chat. Poison, nuclear swirl, nuclear. We're, we're, so we're, going, we're heal potting. We're like, uh, le, le, can chaos? Can you give us some? Um, oh. Oh, oh no! And Caleb wipes. Oh no! And meanwhile, goes, hey. go, yeah, goes back to the start. So Team Oof is double in the lead, but we see hate, and we'll see if hate can come through this. Yep. Yeah, we we need like an Oof in chat for <laughs> the Center for Competitive Dang Strats. Yep. Yeah, Chaos has, you know, four, you know, damaging abilities and just kept looping those and, yeah, we haven't you seen know. Any spells yet from Chaos. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, Caleb did, you know, 20, you know, maybe 3,000 damage to Chaos and, Which I know, think would be the who, minimum. Who knows? Yeah, because it's 150%, yes. 3,000 would be the absolute minimum Chaos can roll. So we're looking at a decently chunky chaos, by the looks of it. Yeah, I mean, we were in the ballpark, uh, uh, but just not enough, and here we see. So chaos is pulling out the script for hate as well. That's always frustrating when it when a fiend does that for one runner and not the other, but cure four versus cure three making a difference. We got tempers oh, also making a difference. Oh, cure too. So yeah, <laughs> yep, tempering that, that katana, 12 hits, 700 damage. 
Yeah, with the crits, more tempers, more cures, just curing that whole party. And now we're going with the lock. Oh, no, nope, we're going and with the nukes. 26, swing from the fire, 5 hits 71. 12 hits yep. 1400. Yep, I do not think chaos is long for this world. I don't so. think so either. And this is why I like thieves. <laughs> Ninja, the ninja of a katana. Yeah, and, and chaos is hitting, but it's just not quite hard enough. Hitting the thief hard enough, and the cure fours are enough to keep that thief at 12, full health. Nineteen hundred to terminate chaos. Yep, and GG to or G to hate. You know, yeah. coming through at one twenty two twenty. Yeah, very nice time. All right. So now it is Chadbert versus Caleb and Dengwu. If Chadbert can finish first, his team will win. He's on Tiamat. He's ahead in Fiends. Oh, there's, uh, a, there's a nuclear. Did we see that out of Tiamat earlier? Yes, we, we saw the one nuclear out of Tiamat. Okay. Caleb goes down to pick up his same, you know, carry floor boxes. I so... Why? why? It, it's the center for competitive... Dang strats at this point, yeah. I, I'm I'm firmly convinced that it is just memeing just to just to have fun. If you're gonna, you know mm -hmm. if you're gonna play and you're not having fun, then you know, that that's called a job. That's not a not carry a game. <laughs> AER going to carry four chess equal bingo. Yes. <laughs> corner oh okay it's fine yeah i was gonna say i thought my internet froze for a second uh, but... i uh, i thought so too on my end but it's fine okay. everything's fine caleb is on to the sea floor and i believe dengwu is on the air floor about to take on tiamat and, and the nice thing is with uh hate done he can basically relay all the information he saw off of chaos yeah, so now you have one person controlling, but you can have two brains, you know, and let me know, here, here's what was rough about the fight, here's here's how I got through it. Yeah. Yep, that, that thief is in a little bit better spot, well, except we're not worried about melees. So, we got tempers, we got invis twos, we got nuclears, we got sabers. So, again, it's just buff the thief. Don't worry about the fighter and yeah, fighters swing that Vorpal. Heels. You mean Katana? Katana. Vorpal Katana. Thing. Sword. Pokey sharp stick. Yes. <laughs> Metal stick. Yeah, I, I don't exactly know what I'm saying anymore. It, <laughs> and it's only been an hour and a half. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> But yeah, that, so the thief got a few buffs and is, you know, swinging hard. You know, that was, what, 1,400 damage. So we know Chaos has something around, like, four and a half, five thousand. 5,000, I want to say. Something Somewhere in that, in that range. range. Oh, I think the fire might be swinging the Vorpal. So that was an 1,100, so we're, we're around 3,000. So one or two more rounds with that thief swinging, and no, we should be nice there. Sword. Never mind, that's a nice sword. <laughs> oh, it hits oh, 2,000. Oh. Yeah, over 2,000 damage. From the katana, yep. Th th this swing's okay. probably it. And then you get the other swing, with 7 hits for 7 damage. Yep. Oh. <laughs> uh, Black Mage has turned into Black Hat, and Chadbert finishes off Chaos at, you know, with 2,220 damage. Um... At 125.57, or 56, sorry, and we have the winners, Team Oof. GG's they... to Team Oof. Yep, and I believe with that, they take the series. Yep, uh, they had won the won the first game, and now they're going to take this particular series 2-0. So... We will get them here in the booth for an interview, I believe, in just a minute. Um, 
In the meantime, we, we can take a look at Caleb versus Dengwu. You know, this competitive forfeit fitting versus Dengstrat. So which part of their name is stronger? <laughs> They're know, both on the same floor, and Dengwu is taking a second victory lap. <laughs> I was going to say, two victory And the long victory laps, too, not just around the... Uh... Like five, oh. like six pillars there. That was a full. That that's lap. not a victory lap if you go around the six pillars. It's only a victory lap if you go around the whole room. Uh, 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 maybe maybe I'm just old and I, I get lost. Yeah, I feel like when I first heard it, it was oh, the person only went around the pillars, just below the door. Yeah, fair enough. Different eras, different rules, right? But. Let me see if I can get this. Hello. GGs. There we are. There they are. Welcome, welcome. GG's, Chadbert and Hate. Yeah, thank you. GG. So yeah, that was a that was, was a thing. <laughs> I was like, how how about that chaos? Uh, yeah, I'm real glad I had Cure Four. I was real glad. What was happening so that I could use care for early? <laughs> yeah, uh, we we saw that on Caleb, and Caleb did not have care four. He he did not upgrade from care three, so and and did not make it through the first round. So yeah, I popped in just as he was uh, just as he was getting through tier two, and oh man, yeah that. It hurt to see his first fight. That wipe was... It hurt me to see. Mm. Yeah. I um, totally understand how it happened, knowing what he had. Yep. Yeah, so um, as, as we watch this Chaos fight, we see some Invis 2s coming out. We see, I mean, some reasonable hits with the, the fighter. You know, another 700 damage. But I think it's also you know, taking him a little bit longer to get through this particular chaos. And yeah. that, that all goes back to the beginning of the seed and, and your choice of parties. You know, he took a fighter, y'all uh, took thieves. Well, I mean, I, I mean, they all, they, they both had just red mages at the start. <laughs> yeah, they were. Uh, we, we popped in to chat with them a little bit and they were going for, they were going for some of the silly stuff, which is why they started with the three red mages. But yeah, no. As he will. Yeah, yeah, no, we we saw the blessing on the thief, the resistance to poison, earth, death, time, status. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, we were like, yeah, we're we're, we're taking the pseudo ribbon thief. Yep, it was uh, that was an easy one. And then the red mage was good because of the fifty percent XP, but it wasn't free ribbon. Yeah, wasn't free yeah. ribbon good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, no, that that makes a lot of sense. And then we ended up finding all three ribbons anyway, so... Well, we don't know where they were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the incentive ribbon. I'm like, all right, great, that's fine. Um, yeah, we've I got the loose that. items. We're not opening anything else. Okay, or and it, else. It, it looks like Caleb has made it through chaos. So GG Caleb, or G Caleb. And then Dengwu is still working his way. Black trying Mage is down, but... <laughs> we're trying to cake chaos. Well, that that's just Dengwu being... Dengwu. Yeah, it's, it's, that is the epitome of Deng strats. Are, are we waiting yep. on the fighter? <laughs> yep. He's going for the cake strats, which, you know, there's a reason that Deng's the cake boss. Yep. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, okay, I, I, now, I, now we got expert just to just to give it another a better chance, but you, you know. Oh, and defenseless landed on the first shot. <laughs> nice. Yep. Well, th these things don't work sometimes for the rest of us, but for Dengwu, just he just does them and they just work. So. Oh, and apparently he's out of cake, so he has to feed chaos stabbings. Oh, Sharp pointy metal things. Yeah, but there it goes. GG. Yep, so GG Dengwu, and we'll see if Caleb and Dengwu want to come in, in in a minute. But um, definitely we saw um, an attempt at competitive forfeiting and and certainly some Deng strats from their side. Um, Caleb was a bit faster than, than your team getting down there, but wasn't quite able to finish off Chaos. 
Yeah, uh, that fight hurt. And yeah, was, and then the panic uh, towards the end, I was just like, I still don't have shards, but I also gotta get cure for it. I gotta get the ruse stick. It's like ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think shards was the, was another you know big differentiator in, in this race. It's like you guys just picked up a little, like more evenly. You picked up the shards. Uh, I think Dengu was just a little bit behind picking up his last shard. So, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about you know how you go, how you decide who goes where and and how you communicate your shard hunts? Yeah, so you usually we'll do some kind of proximity run. We have like a formally at the very beginning, like I'll go to Tofu. Okay, we'll check, hey, we'll check uh, the Canary Castle and go up towards Matoya and Provoka. And then I'll just do the loop, uh, counterclockwise loop around the inner sea. But from there, whoever can get out first goes to like either Melmont or towards the northern continents, their choice. Yeah, though in uh, cases like this where it's like, oh, look, we've got the floater. Great, we're scattering to the winds. Yep. <laughs> yep. And then we track per floor on the shards, so any floors that have chests will say how many there are, and we'll try to do our best to remember where they are in the floor, but it takes too long to type out everything, but we'll just have like a a list of numbers saying, you know, there's five on this floor, there's two on this floor, and I, and we'll sometimes put in, go here, just <laughs> yeah, big letters. Yeah. yeah, for example, like less than greater than, it was just less than greater than, yes, just loot it. <laughs> Yep, fair enough, and I imagine it's similar with some of the, like, incentive gear and such, if you need it. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll type in, like, it's this item here, this floor. And, and if we can, we'll say chest. We we know some of the AP chest names, so it will be good. That works sometimes. Um, unfortunately, I'm terrible at remembering numbers on the chest, so... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. And also joining us in the booth here is the... Center for competitive Deng strats, Caleb and Dengwu. So, GG's gentlemen. Oh, GG's. Hey, GG's. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, mm. GG's Chad and Hate. It was a uh, the competitive Deng strats worked flawlessly. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sunday plans again. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Deng. I, I have to say, I was sad to see that Chaos didn't want to have his cake. I I know. I don't know why he didn't want it. I mean, you got the X for off, but unfortunately, that was after you ran out of the cake. Uh, it makes um, me sad. I, yeah, you know, it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, I tried to give him cake too. I didn't want it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chaos on a diet. Apparently. And I mean, we, we, we did see Deng Deng Wu give Lich his cake. So. Oh, excellent. It, it, it gave us a moment to like. You know, heart. You know, for me to go back to that classic, like this. This is where cake strats came from. That this is yeah. this is the original Deng strat. Yeah, I got my I got my first turn cake on the second dive too. I was pretty pretty pleased with the, with that. Yeah, I, I think we were worried about chaos at that point. Yeah, I, I yeah. didn't even pick up cake because I was like, oh crap, I need to go get life two from Melmond. Uh, what was it? Black magic? I don't remember. I'm not gonna go grab it. Screw it. That's when you're partnered with Angwu, <laughs> you have to buy a cake. Yeah. That's it, it comes I looked at the level five I said, like cake is the only thing here. Yeah. <laughs> Get me here for life too. <laughs> I mean I spent yeah. and then of course Lich two I think ended up costing me like seven casts of my life too, and I'm like, I hope I don't need it later, but it's fine. Ooh. Whatever, whatever is worth it. <laughs> I didn't have that problem with Lich 2, but Lich 2 had so much evasion that it was really weird. I should have used cake. Okay, so should we just like count up and, and list out all, all the uh, competitive Deng strats we used this seed? Let's see, so three red mages? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. Caking Lich. Cake, cake for Lich. Yep. Cake for Strike. Chaos. Yep. Trying to take on Kraken with only three red mages, lit two, and an abyss two helm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep that didn't work. Yeah. That didn't we, work. But it was surprisingly close to me, right? You lasted a long time and got a lot of damage in on Kraken. Yeah, and then he hit me through max evade, crit me, which was a bit rough. Oh, and, 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 and then held. I, I actually just got unstunned. I just oh, okay. recovered. Yeah. 
So yeah, okay. it was. I, I was like, oh, he, he recovered. This is gonna be great. And then he crits me, and I'm like, of course you would. Of course you would tease me like that. Oh, Kraken. Uh, Kraken. Yeah. Do what well, Kraken it was. Does. It was just an easy way out of the dungeon at that point. Yeah. Like. Um, Death warp. You you got the uh, the left side bonus chest in Phantom's room, but not the right side. Let's go. Well, I got that on the second dive. Yeah, oh, okay. On the second dive. Yeah, validation chests were validated. Yeah, that's that's just, how just, we did it. Yeah, just, whoever, just, whoever's just one one per dive. Yeah, whoever's first in the tofer picks the side we go to. So I went, I got in there first. So we went left side, phantom room, right side, carry floor, and then uh, whoever comes in second has to follow. So, but yeah. no, but no pure immune check. I mean, we didn't that, have that, 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 you know, Look, you have to respect your, you know, your opposition, and we. And obviously we respect them, and like you're doing that, kind of, you know, kind of. Yeah, that's that's kind of a desperation play. Uh, and, and then two victory laps. Ah, yeah, well, that, at that point they were they were done. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I also do have to say I'd forgotten that Caleb uses the backwards walking Matt Man sprite. I love that thing. <laughs> it makes me giggle every time I see it. I just, yeah. I never goes. Just, if Caleb goes, uh, all right, so I'm going to name them all Egg. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to name all my characters Ale, then. We're going yeah. that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I tried to keep up for a little bit, but I, I can't do vocal inflections to differentiate all the Ales. So. <laughs> ale. Ale? Ale. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's three. I, I, I don't have a fourth. Ale? <laughs> uh, but this was, anyway this was fun this was yeah, fun, yeah no it sounds it like you guys ha had a great time with the seed and with playing together which, which is always great to see and you know uh, chad bird and hate i hope you guys had the same i love co-op tournament like this is just yeah yeah the co-op tournament yeah. is definitely a blast yeah, uh, it's certainly it's a different format and, and playing what's normally like a, a one at a time, you know, solo game with a teammate just changes the whole dynamic, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I don't, I don't want to take up, you know, too much time here. So uh, maybe we, we can get some final thoughts here. Yeah. Um, Caleb, do you want to start us off? Uh, sure. Uh, final thoughts. It's been a while since I've done... Um, competitive FFR so this was it was fun to kind of just like dip my toes back into it Dangwu and I have a, a rich history in this game almost three years now going back to 2019 speed gaming live so that was it's always fun to the, the rivalry and, yeah to send a voice chat and play a seat with Dangwu is always a treat um, it's a little different playing together with him instead of like feeding him this information or just like <laughs> telling him honest spoilers just to tilt them but just like helping each other out it was uh it was a lot of fun um and then uh i i'm just i don't know it was it was a good time i couldn't have picked a better team to lose to chad part part of the uh center for competitive forfeiting so i'm gonna be rooting for you buddy hate uh, i got a good partner there chad was also my co-op partner for dwr this past winter so um super excited to see how far you guys make it and if uh, anybody out there is watching, you guys should go play Mystic Quest Randomizer. It's amazing. Speed Gaming Live is coming up, so come play Mystic Quest Randomizer with us. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different game plug. Let's go! <laughs> well, if they're crazy enough to play one randomizer, they're probably crazy enough to play another it's, one. It's so fun. Like, if you've ever enjoyed just... Because like, Mystic Quest often gets better because how easy of a game it is in vanilla, but it's so much fun to play the randomizer. Wild Ham did such a great job with that. I would recommend everybody at least come check it out but I digress. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Dengwu? Um, well, it's news to me that we were supposed to actually give our partners proper information, so that's good to know that he waited till after we went 0-2. Um, <laughs> what was I mean, the... it, was, it was fine. <laughs> yeah. We didn't, have, we, didn't have a, we didn't have a Greg Leepuff water room incident ever, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm but, but, we, we won't go into that. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, um, thank you for. Uh, I think Chad Burt said he was part of the committee. I feel bad because I don't 
number. Because <laughs> yeah. I was too busy That's laughing correct. about losing. It's correct. Uh, You're correct. Yeah, so I appreciate everybody on the committee for doing the setting up this tournament. And the flags were fun. I enjoyed every little bit about it. I'm a little sad about the EXP chests, which were part of the original plan. But, I mean, that's the way it happened with bugs. So yeah, I appreciate them idea. changing. So uh, thank you. Thank you to the fans. Hope you enjoyed it. Caleb, you know my... You're awesome. I don't know what else I wanted to say there. Um, I wish you guys good luck. And uh, I'm just playing some WoW. So yeah, another game plug. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Play everything else. Um, but I didn't say that. I I'm definitely not screwing up comms tonight. Nah, just, uh, just play everything. Okay. So... Hayden Chadbird, we'll, we'll just keep it quick here since uh, you guys are, get get to return and come back and do some more of this, right? So, yeah, I'm done. Uh, once again, GG's to Caleb and Dengwu. Uh, Chad and I actually were both like, okay, I'm not so sure how we're gonna be doing on this one because I you know both of them are you know they're damn good, damn good competitors, and you know they been around a hell of a lot longer than I have um, and uh, my brain just kind of slipped out on me there Chad why don't you take it away yeah I would say GG to Caleb and Dengu it was an honor to play with y'all um, and I want to also thank everyone that volunteered today MG Weirdo Shadow Mr. T and uh, Dark Moon for doing for making sure we can put this on RPG Limit Break and Look forward to more. Keep it short. Yeah. Thanks, Weirdo. Thanks, Shadow Mort. Dark Moon. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Th and thank you, viewers and RPG, you know, viewers for coming out and, and watching and listening to us and, and watching, you know, the craziness of co op um, FFR, where everybody is going every different direction all at once, and comms just tries to survive um, <laughs> and, and, and track. And you know, also th that. thanks, Danny, for the like three but or for the buttons you clicked too. Yeah. Um, so um, from from me, it, it was fun to be back doing some FFR, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So, and thank you, RPG Limit Break, for you know, letting us use your channel and Shadow, I'll ha let you have the last word and send us out. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, yeah, I'd like to thank you, uh, MG Weirdo, for uh, joining me here in the Cotton Spoof, because, or else I would have been alone. This would have been even more of a mess. <laughs> it probably already is. Uh, Dark, like, thank Dark Moon for, you know, trying to restream. Also, thanking Danny for stepping in for a bit early on and obviously thank you to both the runners for putting on an amazing race and yeah I mean if you like what you see you should probably come join the discord server yeah if you enjoyed what you saw tonight check out finalfantasyrandomizer.com where you can learn or where you can you know get into the randomizer and that's where you can find the discord link as well Yep. FFMQRrando.net <laughs> <laughs> and, and yep new new player program is called the Duckling program but it, it, it's it's a fun community so yeah come come out and join us and we will see you with the next race